Right, let's take a look at the spur lock and get it into action. So what I've got here is three switch fuse connection units, all with different fuse carriers. I've taken the fuses out already on each of these, so it should make life a little bit easier for myself so I can whiz through this. If you just take a quick look on here, you can see there's a little lip on there. So on this particular fuse carrier, I have to go around the outside, clamp it in, which means I can't push that one down. So if I just slide across there, left all my fingerprints on that one. This one, if we look down here, you can see there's a bit of a barrel. So that allows me to just slide that down there and in, so it says, into there. And then I can just pop a padlock through here. So then we'll just move on to this final one. And look down the side here, we've got a, a hole there. There's no barrel. It possibly could go around, but why not? Drop that out, pass it through there, into there, and then we've also got our padlock, which we can just slide through there. We've got our lock-off tag with our details on there. Unfortunately, I'm not telling you them. And there we go, one spur lock. Within the case, we are supplied with the spur lock device itself. We will trial this on some switch fuse connection units shortly. There's a small padlock included for locking off. The key is attached to a small black marker pen that we can use to fill in the lockout tag. But under here hides a pouch to house the spur lock kit. And the carabiner is a nice touch, allowing me to hang this from the side of my bag.